Number one, let's talk about Social Security first, because Social Security, uh, there are a couple facets to that question. Uh, number one, uh, the government has made promises to a lot of people, uh, seniors and people that have been in the program to pay them, and we have to keep those promises. We can't, uh, we can't cut them back. And we've already reneged on those quite a bit. Uh, I was very surprised. I guess I was, uh, you know, fat, dumb, and happy running a company that when I started collecting Social Security, my Social Security was taxed. I was really surprised. I thought I had paid for that, um, and I shouldn't be taxed again. Uh, so Social Security is taxed, reduced benefits to um, uh, people. Uh, the COLA was uh, reduced now, and that's uh, uh, things that should not have been done. We really need to keep our commitments. Now, the problem is they made big commitments and they didn't really fund them and they didn't plan for them, so they have a, um, uh, they have a problem. The number one thing is to allow younger people to take part of that money and invest it in, and you know, you talk privatization and people are going to go crazy, but basically a private uh, market the way they want it. I believe the last administration had a pretty good plan on the table, which just uh, uh, didn't get a fair shake. I'm not sure, so sure the plan was perfect but it was taking part of your Social Security, leave it in the present system, take part of it, optionally take part of it, and put it into private income. And I think there was a guarantee that if you had losses in your private income and you followed their guidelines, they would then um, make you whole, or the government would make you whole. That seemed like it was a pretty good plan, uh, and I think we should look at something like that. The Social Security... Uh, we probably have to push out for younger people, push out ages and make some minor adjustments, but with some fa fairly minor adjustments, I think Social Security uh, can be fixed and can be guaranteed to everybody. And I think we should have a Social Security uh, program, uh, and that should continue on. Health care is a much, much uh, bigger problem. Uh, and a couple, you know, very bright people have tried to uh, fix it. You know, Hillary Clinton tried very hard to work on health care because it, there is no question there's a problem. Um, and she got, um, uh, she got literally um, her butt kicked on, on that when she pr brought her program out. Uh, and I'm not so sure she really got a full uh, understanding. Uh, and there was a lot of, um, a lot of misunderstanding. Uh, this particular plan uh, has come out. Uh, you mean and the, the, the current, the current enacted federal law has come out with tremendous amount of controversy. If if you say, even if you want to be totally for it, you've got to admit there's a lot of controversy. There are a lot of people that don't like this plan, and most people that don't like it are correct. It's just not going to do it. So, what's the solution? Uh, and the solution really is uh, we've got to do some serious modifications to the way we provide health care. Uh, part of the thing, we do have a really good health care system in this country. Uh, just a very short story. I was up in Canada. I was in uh, uh, British Columbia. And I saw an ad and it was for Blue Cross of British, excuse me, that was Alberta. It was an ad for Blue Cross of Alberta. And next time I saw a Canadian, I said, you know, why do you, you we hear about the Canadian uh, socialized medicine, the free payment. Why would somebody buy um, Blue Cross in Alberta? And the answer was very clear. They said, well, uh, if you have something seriously wrong with you and you go to the healthcare system, you may be delayed for two or three years. So Blue Cross of Alberta will pay for you to go to the United States and get your critical operation done. That's not a system that works. So that's what the people that advocate the current health care plan are advocating, that type of system. I've heard more horror stories about uh, the British health system uh, and the Canadian health system, and basically they're rationing uh, health care by just, if you're too old, uh, making you wait. Uh, now, what's the solution? That's what you asked me. What is the solution? And 
Uh, number one, we have to uh, make the uh, provide the providing health care to people much more cost efficient. We do have the best health care in the world. We have tremendous health care. Um, we have to now make it so that it can be done at a lower cost. We are paying much higher costs than any other country uh, in the world. A couple of things that we should do just as a start, and then we can really get into the uh, into the problem. One was we got, we got to allow people to buy insurance across state lines uh, so that you're not restricted to a particular mandated program that we have maybe here in New Jersey, maybe in Arizona or California, they, a company there has a better program. Uh, we need to have uh, tort reform. Uh, we can't have doctors uh, practicing defensive medicine. Uh, we have to delink uh, insurance from employers so that when you buy an insurance policy, uh, it's not dependent on you continuing to work. If you get laid off, uh, if you decide to take another job, now you can't stay with your insurance policy. Uh, along with that, you should be able to buy some kind of transportable, and I call it a whole health type policy, uh, where you, when you're very young and don't have high health insurance costs, buy a uh, policy, and that builds up some equity or some cash value or a health savings account as you're paying into it, which then can be used as you get older. So your rates would not become astronomical when you get to be 55, 60 years old, and that plan would stay with you. And that plan needs, to, if you buy that individual plan, that needs to be tax deductible or at least taxed at the same rate as an employer plan. Right now there's a big... Um, uh, difference in cost. If I, if you go and work for a company and get their plan, that's tax-free to you. If you go and buy, go to Blue Cross here in New Jersey and buy a plan, you have to pay for that with as after-tax uh, dollars. And it's a much more expensive plan, plan because it's an individual plan. It's just totally unfair. So we've got to do that. We've got to get rid of uh, mandated benefits. We can't say every little possible thing that goes wrong with you is going to be covered. You know, maybe some people don't want uh, a drug rehabilitation, a rehabilitation program in their medical plan or an alcohol plan. Uh, so the mandated benefits drives costs up. Um, and then the, the important thing is just um, allowing doctors and patients, um, or first of all, allowing doctors to set up systems, uh, better primary care, uh, procedures. There's something called uh, having a home, uh, a health home, where you go and one doctor manages all your 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 care and and talks to the different specialists. But you only fill out the paperwork once, and if you get the blood test once, you don't have to get the blood test at three different doctors. Uh, just uh, you know, simple efficiency like efficiencies like that. But they will only be developed when you get a little bit of um, or a lot of the decision-making in the hands of both the doctor and the patient. The doctor has to have a feel of, of what it is. Uh, so it's a very, very difficult problem. I don't want to say we're going to just do it like that. But we, um, uh, we need to work on it. Uh, we certainly need to get into the situation where if somebody gets fired from their job and they have a pre-existing condition, they now cannot buy health care any longer. Uh, there's just too much rhetoric going around. There's too much people yelling at each other, and, and you need, uh, you know, logical, reasonable people sitting down and solving the problem. Or we're going to be in trouble in health care. We're, we're just going to spend ourselves uh, out of the, uh, you, know, you know, a tremendous deficit.